Not everyone rides the carriages in St. Augustine, but everyone sees them. <laughs> what these fun-loving tourists are not seeing today is the sad and divisive end to the city's oldest business, the oldest operating carriage service in the country, the St. Augustine Transfer Company. It's as if your father died or something. It's, it's gone. Murphy McDaniel has operated the carriage service as Avalon Carriage since 1982. What do we do? Hmm. What do we do? Not long after buying the business, he started having serious legal disagreements with the city. There is no doubt in his mind that his grave financial problems are the direct result of the city changing the permit rules after he had already made a huge investment under the old rules. Go on. He says the city ran him out of town. I would say 100% yes, they did. When Mr. McDaniel feels the city ran him out of town. Is that true? No, we, we wanted the carriage industry to thrive, and uh, but those things that are beyond our control are beyond our control. Meanwhile, it's hard to imagine St. Augustine without its horse-drawn carriages. It's a highlight of the trip for Connecticut residents Kaylee Rusgrave and her grandmother Charlene. Especially in a more historic place like this, it's nice to see it still operating. McDaniel holds half of the city's 30 permits, so that means 15 of them will eventually be up for grabs. You want to be a little careful how you just release the permits so that we don't have too many carriages on the road. But I assure you that we'll be putting permits back into circulation. As for McDaniel, all of Avalon's carriages are parked at the stables, a facility about to go into foreclosure. McDaniel is still scraping money together to feed the horses until he can sell them or get them adopted. It's a difficult day. In some ways, I'm blessed. I'm still alive. I'm healthy. I'm standing up. There's a future of some sort. I don't know what it is, but it could be a lot worse.